If you want to do a few more things, I'll just talk about a few more um, mediums that we can use with acrylics. Uh, and you don't have to use those straight away. You can try just with the water and these just give you some extra effects. So I've got the interactive paints, which I love because they take longer to dry and you can work back into them. But sometimes you might have an area that you really want to dry quickly. And this is a fast medium, a fixer, so that you can mix a little bit of this in with your paint and it will make that paint dry much quicker. And then you can move on to the next layer. Of course, acrylics are much quicker drying than oil paints, which is one of the things I love about them. This is an unlocking formula. And so if you've got one of the interactive paints, the golden or the atelier, you can use this mix, it's just sprayed onto an area or, or put on with a brush and it will allow you to lift off the paint or to unlock that paint so that you can work back into it again. And that can be quite handy sometimes, but you can see by how full the bottle is, I don't use it very much. This one's a liquefying medium and it just makes your paint much thinner and more easily to move around. It really basically turns it into that free flow acrylic. So I don't use this very much only if I don't have a paint in the free flow. But it is very handy to thin out paints. Something that I do use quite a lot is a gloss medium. And this uh, just makes the paints a little bit more translucent and gives them a rich glossy and makes them a little bit more more like um, that rich color and gloss that you get in oil paint so this is quite nice to use I use this uh, a lot in my seascapes in the water and in the sky I use it so much that I have a big jar of it and this is the golden uh, acrylic glazing liquid and I really like that it just gets mixed in with the paint uh, on your palette and then applied in whatever way you normally apply it. For skies I like to mix it in with the paint, put the paint on and then I use my hand to move it around and give it a nice soft effect. It doesn't do any harm to your hand. This other jar here is, is Primo, Gesso Primo and Primer and this is used to put a, a sealing coat on whatever surface you're going to paint on. So if you're painting on paper you don't need to, but if I'm preparing a masonite board or a an MDF board for painting, I will use that. Most of the canvases that you buy pre-stretched are pre-primed with three layers. Sometimes you might want to get a much smoother surface so you just put another layer on, let it dry, sand between and keep layering till you've got the, the smoothness that you want on your canvas. If you're buying very cheap canvases it's a good idea to have some of the gesso and, and apply a couple more coats because it does help the canvas not to absorb the paint so much which can happen with the cheap canvases. Two more things I use just to, to finish up with that. This is um, a Liquitex Ultra Matte Gel and this is very good for allowing you to leave um, some of the brush marks in there. It gives a little bit of body and structure to the paint. You mix it in with the paint uh, and then the brush strokes stay a little bit and you get a little bit more texture. I use that quite a lot. Uh, I like to use it too with um, when I'm doing palette painting, palette knife painting. And here is another one. This is the Liquitex Flexible Modeling Paste. So you can trowel that onto your canvas or uh, put it on in, in just one area or two areas, maybe underneath some rocks or some vegetation, or you can um, use it, sort of paint with it with a palette knife to make a mountain range, and then you can paint over it or you can mix your colours into it. And you can apply it to parts of your paper or your canvas or all over it in a random pattern to get different textures. So it's quite a good texturising agent. But you don't need to use all these when you start out and I didn't use all these when I started out. Thanks for joining me. Bye for now. See you next time.